Hi everyone, my name is Ike de Vries and I'm an incoming assistant professor in the College of Criminology and Criminal Justice and coming in with a PhD degree from Northeastern University in Boston. I'm very excited to move my research to Florida and to engage with students, faculty and practitioners in ongoing work that speaks to the intersections of crime victimizations, neighborhood context and networks. Thematically, much of my research looks at emerging or newly defined crime types such as human trafficking victimizations. And human trafficking, of course, is by no means a new crime type, as it is historically rooted in a context of slavery. But in recent years, there's renewed interest for human trafficking as a current crime and social problem that continues to exist through commercial sexual exploitation, through labor law violations, or through systemic and exploitative inequities, such as those based on race and ethnicity, on class, or on gender. And so, through a combination of qualitative, quantitative, and computational techniques, I seek to gain a better understanding of contemporary forms of human trafficking. I'm very passionate about teaching on human trafficking, as well as teaching on research methods such as computational statistics and programming. And so when doors always open for students seeking to engage in learning opportunities in these areas, and for me to learn from your input and from your experiences whether that will be in a virtual environment or in an office space or offline classroom environment. I'm also very much looking forward to spam collaborations across different disciplines and in maintaining a policy oriented research agenda, also with practitioners in the area of Tallahassee and in Florida more broadly. And so overall, I'm very excited to be joining the College of Criminology and Criminal Justice and Look forward to meeting all of you, and like I said, I'm always happy to set up a meeting to get to know each other better. Hi everyone, my name is Emma Friedel, and I am an incoming assistant professor in the College of Criminology and Criminal Justice at FSU. Uh, like my colleague Ika de Vries, I just got my PhD from Northeastern University in Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm very excited to be joining the faculty here at FSU in Tallahassee. In terms of my research, it broadly seeks to examine the causes and consequences of lethal violence with a focus on uh, atypical acts of violence such as homicide suicide, police use of lethal force, serial mass murder, and school gun violence. Um, specifically, my research tries to integrate the literature on these relatively underexplored and rare acts of violence with the theories and the methods of mainstream criminological research specifically focusing on quantitative methods as well as multi-level theories. Drawing upon my research, I love to teach the types of class that students uh, typically are required to take but are a little bit hesitant, uh, specifically things like statistics and research methods. Overall, I try to infuse the content with humor and draw upon real life uh, current events and news in order to make the class more approachable and interesting. Um, like I said before, I am extremely grateful and excited to be joining the faculty at FSU, um, as it is one of the best universities in the world for criminology and criminal justice research. And so I really look forward to learning from and working with my colleagues in the future, as well as mentoring uh, some of the best graduate students and undergraduate students in this area. Uh, aside from the university community itself, I'm also really looking forward to get to know my new home of Tallahassee. Uh, so I'm sure that you guys can all give me the best recommendations for restaurants as well as things to do uh, locally. Anyways, uh, thank you again for the welcome, and I'm really excited to meet everybody one day in person and uh, work together at FSU. Thank you. Hi, everybody. My name is Joe Schwartz, and I'm an incoming associate professor in the College of Criminology and Criminal Justice. And this is Lily. Would you like to say hi, Lily? Hi. Good job. How old are you, Lily? Good job. All right. Did you want to go play? Bye-bye. Good job. All right. We're actually in Omaha, Nebraska right now, and I've been a faculty member here for the past six years uh, at the University of Nebraska, Omaha. And uh, so we're very excited to get to Tallahassee, and I'm excited to join the faculty at Florida State University. Um, it'll actually be a little bit of a homecoming for us. Uh, I actually did my, uh, I went to graduate school at Florida State and, and received my PhD from Florida State. So um, it was a good little while ago though now, and so I know a lot has changed and we're very excited to get back. Um, as I mentioned, I'll be joining the College of Criminology and Criminal Justice, um, and that's my formal training as a criminologist from a, a sociological perspective primarily. 
And um, what got me interested in this field, in this area of criminology, is uh, primarily when I was a, a, a high school student um, and then a little bit into my undergraduate career, um, I was really interested in true crime, really interested in, in, in these sort of exceptional cases. Um, so, for example, you know, Truman Capote's In Cold Blood, uh, for example, that book. And I, I became very interested and fascinated by trying to understand why people do what they do and why people don't do what they don't do. And so uh, through that sort of um, just casual uh, sort of interest, I became more interested in, in examining these things more formally as well. And so that really sparked my interest in criminology, um, which I, I ended up majoring in as an undergraduate and then following through all the way through uh, my PhD training. And my research is really focused uh, primarily on understanding how, how biological and environmental sources of influence sort of work together to shape behavior and long-term health outcomes. So for example, uh, some of my work has, has really uh, focused uh, more recently on uh, adversity and uh, traumatic experiences as a uh, experience during uh, earlier in the life course and how those can shape long-term behavioral trends. Um, as well as long-term uh, health outcomes as well. Um, I've also done some work recently looking at uh, how the experience of incarceration can ultimately shape long-term physical and mental health outcomes, uh, both uh, for those individuals who have experienced incarceration previously, but also for individuals who are currently incarcerated. Uh, what, what am I interested to know more about in regard to Tallahassee? Well, uh, first and foremost, I think my wife and I both are, are really interested in how the city has changed. Um, because of the current circumstances, we haven't really had a chance to come back out and, uh, and, and see how things have changed over the past six plus years of being gone. Um, but I know the city's matured a lot, and, and I'm interested to see how that's happened. Um, I'm also interested in the new microbrew scene from what some of my, my future colleagues uh, have informed me that the microbrew uh, scene in Tallahassee has really boomed, um, and that's exciting. And I'm excited to see how that's changed as well as restaurants and those sorts of things. Um, but I think most importantly, I'm really interested to come back as a parent. So uh, my daughter's three and, and we've been gone for over six years. So uh, as, as we're coming back, we're going to be, I think, experiencing Tallahassee in a totally different way than we did before. And I'm really excited to see some of the, the opportunities that there are for families um, as well as for, for kids in Tallahassee. Um, and so that's something that, that we're really excited to get to explore once um, things sort of calm down and begin to normalize a little bit. Um, all of those fun experiences and, and, and experiencing all those new things, learning all those new things uh, through the through the eyes of, of Lily. Um, so she's excited as well. She She's very excited to get to, to Tallahassee and to Florida. She's excited to be near a beach, which we are as well. And uh, and, and we're, we're, we just couldn't be happier about this experience and about this opportunity. So I look forward to meeting some of you. I hope that I get to have some interactions with you um, and, and learn more about your research agendas and, and what you're working on. Um, and, and hopefully we can we can talk more and, and maybe even find some some common areas uh, for collaboration moving forward. Uh, but with that said, thank you very much. And uh, please feel free to email me or contact me. And uh, I'd, I'd love to, to get to know some of you more. Thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in Tallahassee.